All right, guys. So welcome back to Mist. It is day 22 and we're approaching one o'clock in the afternoon. And I've seen the messages. <laughs> We've had a couple of hectic days. You guys seem to be really behind what we're doing. But today, I think we're just going to slow down a little bit. At least I think we're going to be doing that anyway. Because I've said this before. In a survival situation, if you don't take care of the small things, they become bigger issues. And right now... I'm really neglecting doing a lot of hunting, which is exactly what I've needed to do for like the past three days. All right, we've got a bear over there. Has it got any cubs with it? I know it should. Yeah, it does. I've just seen it. I know it shouldn't really matter, but it does. <laughs> it matters to me in a big way. But yeah, the smaller issues being that we, uh, we need meat badly around the base. So chickens, deer, I guess wolves. I think, yeah, wolves, I guess, are on the menu too. Tango down. And of course, bears. And I need the hide as well, because I am just about to upgrade the uh, the workbench to level 3, which I did see all the comments, guys, for the uh, the rifle. I wasn't to know for the most part, because I'm, I want to say I'm 99% sure the rifle could be repaired if it was broken like that, even if it was just a crafting recipe in the repair bench. I don't know if that's something that's been changed a while ago, but yeah, it was definitely different. Either way, I do appreciate the heads up from you guys. Let me know that if we upgrade the workbench to level 3, then we can basically craft it. And I needed to do that anyway, so... Ooh. All right, big guy. Should we... You know what? I've got... I've got, like, 40 rounds for this pistol. And I've not really used this yet. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, big guy. I am so, so sorry, but we got to do it. <sighs> can we get your attention? It's just licking his paws. Oh, it breaks my heart, but I need to do it. There we go. Oh my god, this thing. Oh! Two shots to the dome with this thing. It's... It... <laughs> it completely takes out a bear. Oh. Okay, right. Grab this. Keep me covered a minute, Leo. I left the uh, the car back over there, so it shouldn't be too far away. I'm gonna put this back in the uh, in the truck. I'm gonna come back out. I'm going to try and get at least a few more. I've got a chicken. I've got a bear now. That's going to be okay. But again, I need more hide. I'm really surprised. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Do not ruin this for me, chicken. Don't you dare. It raises its head now. It's over. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, don't spook it. Let it calm down. Let it calm down. There's something weird going on. Oh, is it Leo? <laughs> of course it is. Okay, I, th I think I can do this. I think I can with the shotgun. The reason I'm taking my time here is because I really want to take the deer down. Every time I've been in the area with the deer, I think I've only got them once. And that was with you guys. So I want to do this again. If I was out in this scenario, I would be going after deer. Maybe chickens too, but deer is what I'm after. Tango down. This thing is so nasty for hunting. Oh, oh I'm so happy. Look at what we got, Leo. Look at what we got. We got some food now. Right, let's pick you up. Oh, a lot of you guys will let me know as well. It could be the white tail. I believe, I want to say this the right way. I know it's wrong. I, and I, I saw a program a while back about the, the specific deer being like crazy amounts of them in parts of, I want to say Texas. Um, Seeker deer, is that right? I think it's that's how you pronounce it. Other people were calling it Axis Deer, and there was a few suggestions. I don't really think it matters too much. It just reminded me in that episode where we went hunting of it being a whitetail because of, like, the spots, and I know, like, certain types of them share the same characteristics. This is good going so far. So we got ourselves a deer, a bear, and a chicken. And we can't really squeeze them into the lockers, so I'm just going to leave it here for now. What I was able to do last time, let's see if we can do this. If I jump on there, and then if I... No, you see, it drops it there. That looks so jank when you do it like that, but there is a way. If you sneak, like, down the side... I know if you don't have anything in the back of this. Yeah, it's just going to do that. Okay, that's fine. But there is a way you can kind of, like, rest it in the back of the bed, even with the lockers. The ideal thing would be not to have lockers, and then I guess the animals just stay in there. But we got some to bed. They've got rigor mortis already, guys, all right? Use your imagination, you know? <laughs> you know it's not going to be perfect. I'm super happy with that. You have a cub. Why did you turn around? Oh, you have a cub. I see its little head. Oh my god, I just... 
I can't bring myself to do it. That is one thing I've just realized. Like, trying to survive mist. If push came to shove, and I was hungry, and I saw a bear there, big juicy bear burger on the menu, and then I saw it, like, it was apparent, and it had it cubs, its cubs behind it. Oh, my God. I would have such a dilemma. I really would. Like, I know you shouldn't. I, I know there's, like, it's A and B. It's that simple. It's you or them. But... I would really have a problem with that. Is anyone else like that or is it- oh, oh, shit, Leo! Back up, back up, back up, back up. Come this way, this way. Oh. There is no way this is the camp. Oh, we are, we're right back there again. Oh my. Okay, right. Make a mental note of where that is. Current location. We're here. Okay. Wow, that could have been bad. Actually, you know what I do want to see? I would really, really love to see what you can do, big guy. I've got faith in you, okay? Let me just check how you're doing. Yeah, food-wise, you're doing great. We've got a couple of chickens, too, so we can cook them up if we need some food. Whoa! I've honestly never seen that many bandits moving together like that before. So they just roam around the map now? So that's five of them. Just going wherever they please. That's actually terrifying. Yeah, I don't want none of that. Are they going to be back here though? Is there going to be more? Because there was one posted up there, right? Yeah, there's nobody here. There's no way they just leave this place unguarded like this. I, w I wish I would have known that was a thing, because then I could have took the um, screwdriver and, and I think I've got a battery in the car too. I've just remembered something. I got some intel from one of you guys telling me to check this. Oh, break it open. Oh, I see it. So the code's in there. It was in the shitter all along. Oh, hello. Wait, Leo, stay. Leo. Stay there, boy. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. I need that bear. Leo, come. Oh my god, go down, bear, please. I'm gonna let it calm down. If I keep sprinting after it, it might just keep running. Yeah, it's gonna keep going down there. All right. We're getting into where the bandits were moving to now. I think they might have been going to Old Town. Come this way. He's gotta be hurt. That's gotta be Tango down, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go. I heard the pigs too. I know I can get some pigs. We gotta go the long way around though, Leo, because... Ooh. Oh, you didn't see anything. Oh, you didn't see anything. Come on. So if I ever come back to this spot, although I do have to worry about it, obviously, being a bandit camp, I know I can get the code from that outhouse. So that we may be able to get our hands on more juicy stuff if we do return back. I just need to make sure I bring the screwdriver and the battery too. All right, let's get the bear back to the car and we'll, we'll get back home. All right, there we go. That is a good haul. So if we put you down there, I'm sure there's a way I can do this. If I like, I can't look down when I've got the animal in my hand. If I just like drop it there, <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> right, Leo, you ready to head back, bud? How are you doing? I'm really keeping my eye on him as well, like this stuff. I really don't let it get down too much lower than that. So we're gonna get back. We're gonna put a couple of chickens on and I guess we're gonna, uh, we're gonna take care of these later on in the evening. So I'll see you guys back at camp.
A lot of you guys were wondering as well if Scott did get stuck up there. No, he didn't. He actually did come down like shortly after as well. But the one thing that I have noticed is that Scott does get stuck around this area here <laughs> when he tries to sleep in my bed, by the way. I did make him another one back there or him and Gion or either one of them to use. This also disappears from time to time. I'm thinking it's going on the roof, but he's back now. But Scott does get stuck kind of in between these. So, yeah, I'm trying to be more careful where I'm placing everything. Right. I need you to stay there for a second, boy. Just take a load off. I'll be back in a minute. Let me get rid of these animals out the car. You know what would be really, really nice? Gion helping out. She's like the first survivor I found, and she's just been in constant contemplation the entire time in the middle of this area. Like <laughs> She does not want to do anything. I don't blame her. Like I don't know what she's been through. She's probably scarred the poor girl, but... Oh my god. It would be amazing if you could... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that side eye, yeah, no. No, 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 I'm good. Scott, you've been helping out a little bit, but you've actually been a bit weird too because Scott has got quite the arm on him. There's a, <laughs> there's a weird bug right now where he will stand way far back. It's not bad for me because it means I guess he doesn't get injured and he can do it from far away, but he can stand way over there and still have access to like this tree line. Look at this. <laughs> you can see the logs here too. All of this was Scott when I asked him to do one hour's work. And I thought he didn't do anything. It was only when I ventured over here to find branches or sticks. I, I saw all of this and I heard it too. I just thought he was balked or he was broken. Turns out he actually can hit the trees with his Jedi mind tricks though. Is there a vehicle over here? Oh yeah, there was. Okay. So as soon as we got a little bit of time, I may as well start to do this. I should probably go through this as well. There may be more in there. I need the scrap like I've been saying. So... It's worth me actually just taking these down. There's nothing in this, right? I think I've already checked this. Let me just be 100% sure. Yeah, no, there's nothing. Right, I'm going to break this down. And I'm going to see if there's any more in there too. The reason I need the scrap is purely to upgrade the bench. And I've been slowly using it over time too. There we go. Just taking chunks off this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six seven pieces of scrap oh i think we've got enough now i need more anyway but i mean just for the bench that could really work oh you know what and i'll take you as well because i'm probably going to need that some more scrap there oh yeah i forgot this area was actually really good i remember saying to myself i was going to come back to this spot let's just <laughs> let's just take our time don't want to be running through this area i don't know if those things have come back or because we have seen these little gas stations, they have been home to a lot of those infected. Nothing else in there, but we do have that. So let's fill the can. Give me all that good stuff. I did lose a jerry can as well when we took on a bandit camp. So it's nice that we found this one. Should I break this one down? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gotta check them all the time. Even though I still haven't found anything. I believe you guys when you tell me that you can find something in them. Okay, well, that was definitely worth it because we got this. Look, <laughs> Leo is surprised by it as much as I am. We got an engine. I wonder what kind of condition it's in. Oh, it's 100%. Okay, I actually didn't know that either. I knew different things were falling off cars. That's why I said it when we were at a previous bandit camp about me breaking down the, uh, the vehicles and finding like spark plugs and stuff. I didn't know you could find an engine though, which is a nice surprise. So, especially one at 100% too. That's, that's really, really good. Now let's switch to the, you know, we're going to switch to the pistol, actually, because I've got an excess of ammunition. I should start using it. I wonder what this sledgehammer does to the infected. <laughs> Can you imagine? It just smashes the living bejesus out of them. I wonder if it's a one hit. I know I need iron in order to make another sledgehammer because this one is wearing down now. We've been using it a lot, so we're going to have to get into that stuff soon, too. There we go. Oh, we got a gear out of it as well. Well, if I haven't already said it, this was so, so incredibly worth it. I'm not taking a cigarette. Component, scrap. Yeah, nice. There was a little bit of scrap over there too, which I did find. Got a bottle back there. Let's leave that. Okay, Leo, let's go. That was 100% worth coming out for. And what time are we on now? Okay, we've just gone past half four. I am the best apocalyptic chef there has ever been. And nobody can tell me otherwise, too. Oh, also, people were asking me how would you keep an eye on how long's left on the fire. Uh, it's this thing here. 
I believe there's like a certain amount of time you can go to, at least with the firewood I've been using this stuff. But this is how you keep track of how long's left. I know it doesn't quite show it here, but once you place it in, it'll give you this timer here. And you can uh, change everything with this here. So if you have like matches, you can go across, put them in there. Different tinder, different accelerant, like if you want to use that, you can do that too. Okay, dried leather hide ready for use. Oh, wait a minute. No way. Oh, no way do you get, what was that, eight from one of them? I thought it was individually like one for one. Oh my God. If this is the case, I'm going to be so pissed. So if we go, what? It is. I think it is. Oh my God. I can't believe that. That's eight. Oh. <laughs> we may as well get the rest of the 16 then. Oh. I've been trying to work out resource wise if I can afford to make another one of these tanning racks. I mean, I've got this now. And just to show you guys, I've got another one here and I've got another one here. And I think I've got another one upstairs as well. So we got three more. So we're not going to run out of hide anytime soon. The good news is I can now get this <laughs> 24 of them now <gasps> oh i'm so mad at myself for that i really thought that was one for one i mean it makes sense you got you can obviously like shape it down cut it down you use it more get more of the resource but oh my god right so we got that i've got 10 resources definitely got that okay i'm gonna get all of this and we're gonna get that brand new quiver i am still kind of working through everything too we're not heading out yet. I haven't slept. <laughs> I've been trying to get everything done. I'm burning down fat too. Right, what do we need? We need a duct tape. But yeah, I haven't slept yet because I've just been trying to work through all of this stuff. Okay, here we go. Tactical quiver. Oh, give it to me, please. That means I get three of them. Wait, can I make two? Not going to make one. Okay. Burns another two hours, but that's absolutely fine. I'm just basically getting through everything while I'm here. And I should have enough now as well with the scrap that we have to upgrade the workbench as well how are we looking oh we're okay that's fine so equipment and then add arrows let's remove these two i should have access to this one now close and then get rid of you i wonder if i could give that to like geon or scott add arrows and there we go we got access to all three now so i can put the hunting ones in here all the explosive ones that works geon can i put this on you interact inventory and I'm just trying any slot, really. I know it's not supposed to go in there. I wonder if I can put... Yeah, no, you don't really see it. Right. We grab that back off you. Okay, that works then. At least I've got the upgraded uh, the tactical quiver. Okay, so what did we need? We needed one of those, four of the cogs, and yeah, we should have it. So let's upgrade this. It's going to take 60 minutes. Oh, we are going to sleep well after this. <laughs> we are running on fumes right now. But I guess that would be a thing. And of course, the mist rolls in. Right, let's see what that gave us then. That would have given us access to everything else, right? Because it doesn't go... Yeah, max level. So, the second one with all the tools and stuff, we've already seen that, the weapons. So, now we've got access to this. There's the Benelli. Okay, so we've seen that before. And broken hunting rifle. So, this is the part for it. And we just need 16 components. Oh my god, we're going to have to do this in the dark because my batteries are in the truck. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, do we have anything in the uh, in the fire? I think I might have a bit of wood in there. No, nothing. Okay, that's fine. Workbench, nice. Okay, we did it. And it's... This one. Assigned to AI. Can I actually... Oh, there we go. So that's how we can at least move her from that position. At least if she's looking at the workbench, it looks like, you know, she's crafting some stuff. For the sake of uh, for our storyline, just being stood in the middle like this is just weird. Scott does it as well. All right, there we go. We got it. The hunting rifle. Oh my god, it feels like a lifetime since I've been wanting to get this, but we have it now, and that means that we can take the enemy down from range with more precision too. We were doing it with the recurve bow. The problem with this is was I couldn't be super accurate like I can with this, or at least I think I can from a range. So that's good news. I can take things down like the crossroads or the blockade area in the middle of the road that we still haven't been through. And if I really want to, I can go back to the other bandit camps, take them down and recover anything from those camps if I need supplies and stuff. So this is huge. I think I should have a good supply of ammunition, but I might want to get on that too. Right now, I've just got to focus on getting some sleep because as you can see, I can't see anything. The enemy is outside the door. It's all bad news, so I think I'm going to sleep and I'll be back with you guys in a second. 
You okay, Scott? Just standing with your muddy boots on my pillow and you slept in my bed. I'm not complaining because I got the big juicy bed over here. So <laughs> I got a really good night's sleep. We're looking a lot better too. The fatigue's all the way up. Obviously, the hunger and thirst is good. We've just had some breakfast. Day 24 now, though, and it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Gion's just working on something on the workbench. Look at this as well. If you haven't seen this, when you upgrade it, you get like these small little things that are added to it. You got the rifle, the Benelli shotgun. I think, I don't, I can't remember the name of this. It's not a press, is it? It's like, a, I know there's, it's a type of drill. It might be a drill press or something like that. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, compared to this one, looks really, really cool. But either way, a brand new day. And you guys already know what we're going to be playing around with today. I want to know what's over at that blockade. And we have the perfect weapon to do it. I didn't actually realize, I said to you all, we may have some ammunition. Oh boy, <laughs> do we have some ammunition? Look at this. 63 rounds of hunting rifle ammunition. Oh yeah. I don't, I thought there was a way you could zoom in and out with this, but maybe it's just fixed zoom. And it's always had this weird problem as well. Like when you zoom in, you see that like flickering? I hope that gets fixed because <laughs> that's really messing with my eyes. But the good news is we have the hunting rifle now. We got a ranged weapon, one that we can really rely on. I'm still going to keep the bow and arrow too. We are getting really low with this as well. So maybe I could make a few of them and just leave them in the truck. But yeah, Leo, you're around. Oh, you're up there. What are you doing up there? <laughs> right, let me put some of this in the truck and then we're going to head out. What is that? Ooh, oh, I really want to get in there. Oh, that looks like it's going to have some real nice stuff in there. Is there too many though? Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's so many here. Where are you going? Saw that back there. Yeah, this looks like, yeah, this definitely was a checkpoint at some point. Wait, wait. Stay there, boy. What's that over there? That's just, just houses. Is that where they're living? God, I want to find out what's down there so bad, but this might be a bit too soon. Where are you going? Force my hand. Came in close. Leo, come. Let's reload up. Don't think that brought any of them over. There was a second one coming over this way. Let's loot them real quick. What did you have? I'm going to take those. Oh, I saw something moving. Of course, we have the carrot and the filter. Pocket. Syringe. Again, still have no idea what that syringe does. Does it have anything in the back of that? Let's see. Yeah, no, it's just a syringe. I guess I can put stuff in. Ooh, meat stew. <laughs> we'll take that. Tango down. Tango down. The helmet came off too. That one didn't go down. A bit too early. Oh, we need to reload. Come on, come on. Where did he go? Taking fire. Oh my god, that guy is moonwalking! Tango down. I think we may have to go in and clear it with you, Leo. Reload up. Oh, there's one back there too. Got the, the shotgun. That was a headshot. I just caught the, the side of him though. Gonna take cover. Oh yeah, we're not we're not super accurate. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Let me switch to another weapon. Did that actually just hit him? That hit him from there? Oh my god, that shotgun is so powerful. So, you guys would have seen that. There was something really funky going on with the sight. I mean, I guess it's not dialed in. It could be way off, and we could have got lucky with the, uh, the headshots that we got. Or something's broken on it, but... Yeah, it wasn't as straightforward as I thought it was going to be. I think we've took him down, though. We can't be mad. Right, we're switching to this beast, then, if that's the case. Right, 
Leo, come here. If there's any left, I will try and see if... If Leo wants to try and take one of them down. I'm so nervous. Let me just try and catch my breath. Get my foot in. Ooh. Little communication spot. Bandage, we'll take that. Revolver ammo. What are you guys doing? Week one, two, and three. Percentages. Oh no, Leo, your disease is really playing up today. Right, we got the bodies over there. I can go back for them as well. Obviously, I'm going to try and bring the truck down too. Try and fill up as much as we possibly can. Wow, look at this spot. Got to be careful going through this too, because like, I'm getting a little bit like gobsmacked on what this area is. There could just be one of them crouched like this waiting, right? Just waiting for that perfect opportunity for me to peek my head around the corner. Take the scrap. Some medical supplies, syringes. Yeah, they were staying here too. What's this? More ammunition. Can't pick that up. Oh, don't glitch. Don't glitch. Oh, there we go. Okay. What's this? Oh, nice. We got another one of those. Right, let's pick you up. Can't move objects. Step back a little. Wait, what? Oh, still on it. And let me just throw you over there. Nice. We got it down. Just thinking it's probably worth checking up high with this stuff. You never know where they've stashed things. And we found a weapon. What are you? Purple drink. Yeah, I don't think there was anything else in here either that I could really take. Yeah, boxes, nothing else. I'm definitely going to have to bring the uh, the truck around. I'm going to leave everything in the middle of the road too. So I know where it all is. I'm just going to offload all of this stuff. Try and make room for whatever we can. Are we okay for food? Yeah, we're okay. I'm definitely going to dig into this, this meat stew. 100%. Let's get rid of all these. Leo, how are you looking? Let's see. Food-wise, oh, you're good. You could use a top-up. Here you go, buddy. That's for kind of helping. <laughs> we'll get an opportunity where I set you on these guys. I just don't really want to risk it too much yet. All right, got plenty of space now. So we got this 50 cal here. Can't really open these. Let me just make another pass around this spot. What are you? Oh, explosive arrowhead. Nearly missed that. The pencil, not too worried about. There's that schematics again, or whatever it is. The blueprint for a ship. I wonder if that's telling us something. Oh, look at this. Infection spreads. Oh, I wish I could read that. Week one was two dead. Week two, 60 dead. Week three, 420 dead. Week four is now unknown. Week five was government shutdown. Complete chaos. What is this? Main hall? Food stocks? So is that... Oh, entry code 4762. Oh, I love this. The fact that they've added a little bit of lore to it as well and things that we may be able to find in the future. I don't know what that is. Code names for areas or something? And this was their med bay. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, the jeans, I'm going to leave it. Food, I'll take. Nothing in there. Friday, 9 p.m. They're going to miss that date. I'll take that. That's so cool, though. I love that. I hope there's more of that kind of stuff around, or like things where survivors were making notes, or as, as horrible as it sounds, leaving notes to people. Because it makes it feel more real then, right? More rags. Box here. I still really haven't cleared this out, but my eyes are bigger than my belly right now, and I'm just I'm loving all the loot. It's really nice. What's this? Titanium was discovered in Cornwall, Great Britain. Is this just telling us about titanium? What were they doing? Some more 9 mil. See, if somebody was posted here like this, they would have got me straight away, because I went from behind that truck right up there into that tree line. If they had like a rifle or something, oh yeah, it'd be over. Just picking me off like that, or even when I just knelt down with Leo. Come to think of it, I think the worst thing for me, if I was in this scenario and I had a dog like this, if somebody picked off the dog before me because they were worried about being attacked by it, oh my God. Like, just thinking about it now, if you're a dog, or even if you're not a dog owner or you don't own pets, like, I know you guys can feel that. There's just something about pets that way, or makes it way worse. Okay, we can't get in there. 
Do I like any speaking? Oh, cameras. Anybody see us? What are you looking at? So you're just watching this area then. Yeah, road closed. So no access through that point or from the other side as well. Oh, there it is. Get him. Leo, get him. Oh, wait, Leo's gone in there. Let's see how he does. Don't you touch my dog. Don't you dare touch my dog. Get him, Leo. Get him. Good boy, get him. I got you back, buddy. Let's take him down. Oh, yep, yep, you got him. I'm helping a little bit. I'm going to try and stay away. See how long it takes for him to take an infected down. Get him. Get him. Oh, there it is. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Nice big juicy piece of meat. We're taking him down. Okay, so at least we've worked out how to do that now. So it's the infected. I'm guessing that's going to be the same for the bandits too. Okay, I'm going to keep that in mind. Do you guys have anything good? No, I don't want to take any of that. Food, always. Gunpowder. Ah, I, I'm going to probably need it. Fuel, always. Give me that. We're going to have a look at this house, and I think this is going to be the last one. We're really not finding much in this one, which is fine. I mean, I don't imagine I'm going to find loads of stuff in every building, right? People leave in a hurry. They're going to take what they can. Ooh. Lucky I had the uh, crowbar over there. Now, why would that one be barricaded? Please don't have something that I can't carry. That would be horrible. Gonna be something really nice in here. Let's hold on to those. Oh no. Oh, the fishing law. Okay, I'm gonna leave them in there. I'm gonna take that because you guys know I need that. I have an addiction now. <laughs> 10 liters of fuel now. This is really nice. I'm really pushing it as well because I'm carrying so much that I can't run. And if you know what comes in, I'm gonna be very, very exposed. So yeah, I don't wanna leave this any later than we have to. Fishing gear. I don't think I need any more of that. I just keep getting it for the sake of picking it up. Components. Okay, that's it. That's where we got to draw the line. Come on, bud. Time to get out of here. Let's go. All right, we've got a slow walk getting back, but we've still got enough time. Quarter past two. We're okay. Next time I come as well, I can bring the sledgehammer. Break all of this stuff down. Get plenty of scrap. Oh, yeah. There's more houses down there as well, like I was saying before. And that church back there. And the big old buildings. I wonder if that's where we get the concrete blocks from. No, because it's like a construction site. I imagine if they're anywhere, that's where they'll be. I could be wrong with that. It's just a guess. But yeah, that's all to come. I think we'll do that in the next episode. If we don't have a ton of things to do because of what we're bringing back home. Because we got a lot done today. <gasps> oh no, I've just realized I'm quite far away from this area. Okay, well, I don't think anybody heard the shots then. Leo, let's go. Come on. That's another day, <laughs> which I didn't anticipate going like this. It's going to just take it easy, do a little bit of hunting. Maybe some... Oh, we can't get out that way. Maybe do some things around the base as well. Think about a little bit more storage or something like that. Or maybe the perimeter walls. But <laughs> turns out we saw an opening and we took it. I'm happy with that because we came away with, again, a lot more stuff, which is just going to go a long way in helping us survive. But, <laughs> yeah, it just adds to the problem. i got to work on the storage issue. got to work on the perimeter issue. And these guys are going to be pissed. I keep picking these guys off. No problem either. Like, it's been pretty straightforward for us so far, and I want to keep it that way. We still have so much more to do. Right, how do we get back down here? Ooh, careful, careful. Still got all of that there as well that I can break down. We can make those as well. I don't know if I've said that. <sighs> what are we going to do with you, Scott? <laughs> all right. I think, guys, this is where we're going to end it. I've got a lot to do around the base. Just try and get everything organized. I really didn't anticipate that we were going to do that today. I did want to get this all rocking and rolling. I didn't realize we had that much ammunition either, so it kind of opens a lot more opportunities for us. But as we saw back there, we got more stuff that we need to explore there's a church back there as well and those big old buildings that I'm really interested to find out what's going on with. 
So, yeah. And not to mention as well, we still have this barn area with those two seekers. We need to fix up this car. But yeah, as always, if you guys are enjoying the adventures of Mist, drop a like on the video, subscribe to stay up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.